Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about coincidental room sizes and volumes so we can kind of get a handle on what this term coincidental means. It's a fancy term for more of something we don't want, I think is the easiest way to say it. It's all about the ratio of the room, the width, the height, and the length. Sometimes we get widths, heights, and lengths that are so close to each other that they just compound all the problems we're going to have to deal with in the room. I think you've all heard about the cube effect where you get a room perhaps that's 12, 12, 12. Oof, wouldn't it be nice to have a 12 foot ceiling? Not so nice to have a 12 foot width and not so nice to have a 12 foot length. There's a thing that happens, especially with frequencies below 300, where everything gets exaggerated exponentially. So let's talk a little bit about that. We all know from past videos that it's the ratio of the room with our height, width, and length that produces how much modal pressure issues we're going to have below 300 cycles and how severe they're going to be. I've seen some rooms recently with plus 19 dB bumps below 100 cycles. These are very small rooms. So when you have that kind of situation, you have to be very careful, but you have to be extremely careful with the coincidental room sizes and your ratios. So what's a good thing to, to follow? A good guideline is try to vary your dimensions. I don't care what they are, width, length or height, by at least 25% starting out. So we want to make sure that we have at least a 25% variance in each. The ceiling varies 25% at least from the width and the length. The width varies 25% from the height and the length and etc. So a good general guideline. Will that work in all situations? No. That's the definition general. But use that guideline when you're out looking for a room. And if you get in a situation, you're buying a new property, you're getting a new house, you're moving, get me the room dimensions before you move. And if you're moving because that's what you have to do and that's what you want to do, we can probably look and see if that's going to work for your situation. Okay. What does it do? Well, we know the frequency range of all these problems in small rooms is always below 300 cycles. That's our field of play. That's where we work. That's the area I constantly work in because anything greater than 300 cycles, I can manage with diffusion and absorption. I can manage with quadratic diffusion and foam. Everything below 300 cycles, I got to use diaphragmatic absorption. I got to use membrane and in some cases hem holds. So it's a completely set of, completely different sets of treatments. And if I'm gonna have an increase in all my problems by 100% to 400% because I have coincidental room size problems, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be certain things you can't do in the room. One, make a living if you're a professional. So it's gonna be very difficult. So. We have to always define that. If you're a hobbyist, yeah, you can work around the problems. But if you're a professional, you won't be able to. So there's just certain room ratios that, that won't work. So be very, very careful. So remember our three modes, axle, tangential, and oblique. Axle is two parallel surfaces, sidewall, sidewall, floor to ceiling, front to rear. And then the uh, tangential are the, the crosses, the four. And then the obliques are corners to corners. So four surfaces, two surfaces, six surfaces. So be very, very careful when you're choosing a room not to get ratios and sizes that are so close. Try to vary them by 25% at least because that will influence, remember our acronym TAP, the amount, the type of treatment you're going to use, how much you're going to use, and where you're going to put it. So I hope that helps. Coincidental room sizes and volume. Try to vary the dimensions of your room by at least 25% to start. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website 
where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.